So the main important thing, um, Josh, that I want you to understand is what we're trying to do is we're trying, they're asking us to write the equation in slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b. Do you agree with me? OK. Now remember, m represents your slope. And b represents your y-intercept. Well, they give us our slope, but we don't have the y-intercept, right? So the first thing we're going to do is want to plug in the value for slope, which is 5 sixth. Now, we don't have a we need to finish the write this equation in slope intercept form, we need to find the value of b. But we don't have the value of b. They just give us this point that lies on the line. Now, remember the point though, x and y. Now in an equation, x and y represent infinite many points that make up the line. They just give us one point. But what we can do is we can use the values of this point to plug in for x and y so we can just solve for b. So what I do is I write 12, which is my y coordinate, follow me, equals 5, 6 times x, which is my, or 6, which is my x coordinate, plus b. Now I can solve for b. So when I look at this here, I have 6 over 1. So the 6's divide out, and I'm left with 12 equals 5 plus b. Subtract 5, subtract 5, I get 7 equals b. Now I know what b is, and I know what m is. So to write my equation in slope-intercept form, I just plug in those values. 